driving under the influence is an issue we closely follow at KGET. We call it current sober reality. A man who allegedly struck and killed a pedestrian while driving drunk on a dark stretch of Edison Highway in East Bakersfield is now out on bail. I spoke to the victim's family and they have a message for all drivers who think of getting behind the wheel while drunk. The Garcia family is living a harsh reality. It's hard to process, you know, at that moment. And me and his kids, they're my, they're, his kids were, they were not doing okay, you know. I wasn't doing okay. And Four kids ripped of their father after he was killed by an alleged drunk driver. Drinking and driving, it's not, it's not right. But unfortunately, people still do. And... This, this is our things that happen when you drink, drink and drive, you know. Sunday night, 34-year-old Marco Antonio Garcia, his father and his brother went out for a drink and a game of pool. Jose Huesca says they spent about an hour at Villar España under the Mount Vernon overpass on Edison Highway. Their father wasn't feeling well, so they decided to head home, he said. Huesca remembers the three left the bar and walked towards the car parked directly across the street. I crossed with my dad, holding my dad thinking that he was right behind me, you know. Um, but when we finished crossing, I put my dad in the van. Um, I kept looking around for him, he wasn't there. Wesco went back to try and find his brother, but had no luck. When I came back to the van, I saw police, like, all over the place, but they were, like, kind of far from me. So I didn't pay attention, you know, what's going on. I, I just wanted to get my brother and leave. But uh, I never, it never crossed my mind that it was him, that they were picking his body up already. They waited until the bar closed. Still, no sign of Garcia. The two got a ride home. When we got home, um, the coroner's office sent someone over to give us the news that he got ran over right there. Garcia was struck and killed while crossing Edison Highway. The driver took off. The 25-year-old Jonathan Lopez was arrested for DUI and felony hit and run. Just four months ago, another pedestrian was hit and killed in this area. And eight months before that, a block away, a third pedestrian hit and killed. Both these crashes involved DUI drivers. Garcia's family says part of the problem is also the lack of lights in the area. A GoFundMe has been set up to help with Garcia's funeral expenses, and you can find that on our website, kget.com.